me. And I'm not crazy. This is what I see. And I told him, Lord, I don't want to be here. I said, please, if you get saved, then take me out. He said, darling, rest your eyes in peace. I begin to rest in peace. I begin to wake up all green, green grass. I smell the sweet, sweet flowers. I begin to look. Stand up in the age of came. He said, don't be afraid. This is our Lord. This is our Lord Jesus. I grabbed a man's hand. We began to walk the path. We came upon this place where his mom was crying. I said, Jesus, why is your mom crying? She can't save. She can't save. Only I can. She said she didn't. She didn't save. She can't save. She said, I'm the one who died on the cross. I'm the one who sacrificed my life. <laughs> he said, only I can save. I said, oh, we begin to walk the path. We came into a room of worshiping angels. A lot of voices. A lot of music. And they were singing out, that's like David dance. And David was dancing before the Lord. We began to step into the room. He said, darling, pray. We began to pray. A loud voice of thunder began to say, keep it up, my son. You're doing a good job, my son. Jesus, yes, Father. I love you, Father. Have mercy on us, Father. <coughs> the louder the voice got, the louder the angels sang. <laughs> It was so anointed and powerful. I couldn't help but drop to my knees and cry. And after the room, after we went to worship in the song, we laughed. We came into a room with the babies. Adam and the John and the Noah and the Anna. I said, who's Noah? He brought me to Noah. He picked up Noah. Noah was giggling and laughing in my arms. I began to laugh back and I began to fall in love with Noah. Jesus said, which one makes you happy? I looked at Anna. I looked at Noah. I said, Noah, because Noah, the moment I was holding Noah, Noah was giggling and laughing in my arms. He was the most happiest thing I ever had. And it was the most beautiful moment that I got to choose a baby right out of the heaven's doors. I didn't want to leave, but we left. He said, what did you always want it to be? I said, I thought about it. And at two years old, my mommy brought me to the zoo. And I got mad to watch the penguins. And I thought about that moment. I said, penguin? Poof, I got to be a penguin. <laughs> And I was, I got changed back. Only, I got to be a pig, but only for a moment I got changed back. <laughs> Next thing he said, go play. I went to play. There was a girl with numbers on her necks. I said, why does she have numbers on her necks? Mommy didn't want her. Mommy aborted her. Mommy wanted to drink and have that past stuff and <laughs> do that past stuff, have her fun. He said, so she's my darling. I looked at Jesus. <laughs> He said, go play. I went to swing. I was swinging. I bought a flitter on my back. <coughs> I turned around. I had wings. He said, my darling, you look beautiful. My darling, you look like a butterfly. I giggled and I tickled. <coughs> he said, come with me. We went to a big, huge Bible. We turned. It was so, so, so huge. <coughs> It took so many of us little children to turn that Bible. We read John 123. It's talking about uh, the prophet Isaiah. And it says, and it's talking about he's going out into the wilderness. And one cried out in the wilderness. And he, he makes straight for the Lord. As the prophet Isaiah said, we read the page. Jesus said, you can go home or you can stay with me. And I looked up at Jesus and a cloud appeared. Mommy was sitting by my bed crying, holding my hand. She told Jesus if he needed me more than he, 
<laughs> that he could take me, but if he was going to give me back, to give me back a strong, healthy girl to go to school and stuff. I looked up at Jesus. I said, I'll go back. I don't want to make mom cry. He said, you promised me. I said, well, he said, promise me you go back and tell the people. Go back and tell my people I'm coming back. He said, go back and tell the people my story. He said to tell people to have faith in me, to tell the people to believe in me. And whenever they need, they shall receive just to call on me. He said, open your hands. I opened my hands. There was light bouncing back and forth. He says, I'm, he says, you're going to go back and lay hands on people. And I'll work through you. He says, I'll work through you. He says, just tell them to believe that they can, they can receive miracles and stuff like that. And he says, he says, remember, he said, just say in a dream, remember to say in a dream. And I woke up when I smelled awful, awful medicine and all those tubes in the air. <laughs> That was my experience to have hell in heaven. <laughs> and I encourage you all to believe in the Lord. Because he's everything. He's everything. He can heal you just like that. He can heal you just like that. Because I was healed of blood cancer. I was healed of a sickness. I was healed of diabetes. I was healed by the Lord. By his stripes and by his blood. I was healed just like that. And it's no joke. It's no joke. This was real. <laughs> many of you can doubt. And many of you can believe. <laughs> but Jesus will see those who follow him. <laughs> he sent me back with the message. And it's not hard carrying this message. It is hard. <laughs> it is hard. It's hard carrying a message for the Lord, right from out of His kingdom, right from the kingdom of heaven, right out of the gates of heaven. And this this story healed many people, many people. The first time I came here, I couldn't believe how much healing took place by the Lord, not mine. <laughs> so many healings took place. <laughs> and it's up to you to believe it or not. I'm not telling you you have to. It's up to you. And it's up to you to receive that miracle. Because <laughs> I try and there's many disbeliefs out there. People call me a fool. <laughs> I don't care if I get called a fool. I don't care if I look like a joke. <laughs> I don't care. As long as I get this message out for the Lord. That's all it comes. <laughs> Who cares what people think about me? If I'm a fool, if I'm a, if I'm a liar, if I'm just making this up, who cares? I don't care if I get called a fool. As long as I know that, what well, I know, and as long as I know the Lord's got me, and the Lord's with me. He's with me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. <laughs> He lives in me. <laughs> but it's up to you guys if you want to believe. Because <laughs> there's many disbeliefs out there. <laughs> and if you need prayers, I'm more than happy to pray.
die for you, but remember, it's not my glory. It's Jesus's. <laughs> he works through me. <laughs> but if you just believe you can receive a miracle just like that. <laughs> but that's all I have tonight. <laughs> but before I before I remove myself from the, from this I just want to encourage you all <laughs> share this share this you're welcome to share with your family <laughs> because the he's not only stepping up me he's stepping up others <laughs> and you're welcome to share with your family because we're saving souls together with the Lord to make it to his kingdom. Because we don't want to end in hell. We don't want to be there for eternally. We don't want to be there just for rejecting the Lord. Because Jesus is everything. He died on that cross for us. He died on that cross for us, people. He loved us so much. He was nailed to a cross. No other man or no other woman will be nailed to a cross because they loved their people that much. But Jesus did. If God said his only begotten son and that's Jesus Christ, if Jesus Christ is coming back one day for us and we need to be ready for him because he's not coming back after a church that's just going to be be silent treatment. We gotta be out. We gotta be. We gotta be alive for the Lord. We gotta be alive for Him. We gotta give Him all we got, cause He's not gonna come back for us. He's a, he, when He comes back, He'll be like, "Children, where's your excitement for me?" Like when He comes, I'll be Messiah, Messiah. The Lord I came for me. I'll be shouting for joy. I'll be cheering for joy because He had come back for me. I'll be cheering. I'll be. I'll be singing if I had to. We gotta. We gotta be alive, people. Are we children of God? Will they be alive for him? Because he's not going to come back for uh, something that's not going to be alive. He's our king of kings. He's our lord of lords. He's coming back. He's coming back for us. And we got to know. It's, it may not be tomorrow, the next day, but he's coming soon. He's coming soon. And we don't want to be left behind. No. No. I don't want to be left behind. I don't want to be left behind. I want the Lord... When he comes, I want him to take me right there and then. I don't want to be left behind because I don't want to miss out on a kingdom of glory. A kingdom that's full of love and joy that you never imagined on earth. <laughs> Who would want to miss out on that? Not me. Not me. So be alive for him. If you don't go to church, start Step in the church. Find the church. And glorify the Lord. Because he's there for us. And that's what he wants. <laughs> but that's all I have. And God bless you. But if you need prayer, I'm happy to pray for you. Hello, viewers. God richly bless you for making it at the end of this video. Please, if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. And make sure... The, the notification bell is on hit the like button and please leave a comment below god richly bless you bye bye